everyone, it's Brianna Ray from BriYY here, sick and in the Christmas spirit. Now this video is probably not going up for a hot minute, but I did want to film this now because um, it's happening now and I'm not going to get un just for the effect. So um, <clears throat> before I receive presents every year, um, because my mother is one of those like go all out kinda, kinda gals, um, and I have a, a moderately sized family. So I do tend to come home with a lot of stuff. Um, so I try to go through and like, you know, get rid of old clothes and, and you know, clean out my, my supplies, um, my art supplies before um, the season comes with the gifts. Um, and in those experiences, I do tend to realize that I have a whole lot of things. Um, and sometimes I come to realize I have too much of some things. Um, and I don't really know why. Um, actually, I do know for this one. It was a, you know, I ordered it from Amazon and um, you could only order a certain amount. But I do remember, oh, there's the other end. Um, that at one point I did order um, this chain for the... Uh, illusion book purse that I made forever ago but I love that project it's up here um, <clears throat> and at this point now I am a whopping 411 but let's say five feet for the sake of uh, consistency and it looks like it looks like I have about 15 feet of this gold chain left over and I needed something to do with it. So now I'm gonna make it all your problem. And uh, you get to watch me attempt to make something with this chain so that I don't just have a big pile of chain sitting around in my collection. Also, fair warning, I'm going to be real, real anal about my hair this whole video because this is not normally how I'd like to be on camera, but I kind of have to be for this experience so bear with me here and don't say anything mean in the comments so I have three things in mind and I'm not really certain if 15 feet of chain is even enough to do these things but I'm feeling confident about it so the first thing is one of those like fancy chain bra situations so I'm just going to I'm gonna need to measure everything obviously before I um, make it happen that way I know we're at kind of the right place um, so actually now that I'm thinking about it I kind of want this to go underneath my bust a bit um, and I'm gonna add the triangles in after I just feel like it'll save me a couple of cuts so I kind of want it to come down here so I'm gonna do this like around the neck and then I'm going to measure around the back I'm gonna do like a lobster clasp in the back and then I'm gonna add the triangles on either side from there um, so this feels like a good good length so I'm going to mark that and I'm gonna take my wire cutters to, or not wire cutters I'm going to take my I guess technically it is my wire cutters, isn't it? My wire cutters and my pliers to separate this out. There's so much chain, it's like almost aggressively in the way. Obviously every loop has its own little kind of breaking point, so I just open it up, slide it out, and there is the over the necklace. Like that. <laughs> I'm gonna set this guy off to the side and now measure around my under bust area. So not my waist because that'll probably be too small. So here is my under bust plus a little extra. That way I can lobster clasp it. And Percy wants to say hello. Say hello baby. Mwah. All right, and now I'm gonna open up the end of this uh, under bust chain here. Open that up, see? And I've got a nice gold lobster clasp that I'm going to thread in there. It is pretty tight, actually. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna need a jump ring. So I just have the teeniest, tiniest little gold jump ring, actually, that I'm gonna pop on there. There we go. Tiny little loop. Thread our lobster clasp through there and close it up. So now we should, in theory, be able to come back around and hook it on any of these. 
and that does work. Behold. Now we are going to wrap this around like this and now we are going to attach the top chain. So once again for this guy, I'm drape, it, drape it over the sides, um, kind of sending it down where like the darts would go in like a more fitted bodice, uh, straight through, frankly through the nipple. Um, and I am just going to open up these friends here. Oops, need the opening. There we go. Crack that baby open. And I'm going to attach it to this chain. And it's as easy as that. <laughs> And there you have the base of your chain bra. Now I'm going to add more chains to form these triangles. Um, yeah, in kind of the exact same way. So I'm just gonna find the end again, which is, as we've expressed, already annoying enough. Um, and I'm gonna try to keep them all the same length. So I'm gonna go from about, I guess let's say closer to the top of the boob and uh, kind of down in a triangle pattern like this. All right, and here is the finished chain bra. Obviously, ideally, he would wear something underneath it. Um, and I will show you how I would style it towards the end of the video, so keep watching to see all that. Also, it's not too hard to take off. You just gotta find your lobster claws in the back. Pop it off. And over the neck. And boom. Super easy. The hardest part is going to be remembering what this is. <laughs> Depending on how much chain you have lying around your house, you might choose to add some like dangly bits or whatever, which is kind of what I'm going to show you here. So I am going to Again, measure around a part of my body. Specifically, we're gonna go for the waist here because we're going to make a belt. Um, now, I do actually want this to have like a dangly effect to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is, actually at the end, as I'm measuring it, I am going to open this up, add a nice jump ring onto this guy, and find yet another lobster clasp and gold. I'm grabbing all my black ones right now. Taking another gold lobster clasp and threading it through. Clues, of course. And I am going to put it right where it goes, really, where it fits on my waist. Right there. And now at this point, all that really has to be done is to find the ending space, and that's kind of where it ends. Or you can sort of create this, like, um, sort of dangly effect. I, have, I actually already have, like, a really thick chain belt that I had off of Amazon for a different project at one point. But really, this one, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple because I already have a chain belt and I'm not going to go crazy for it. Maybe I'll gift this to somebody. But I do want it nice and long again so that it fits at varying weights and body types. Open it right about there. And boom. Chain belt detail. Super easy. No hassle. Um, I also think it might be cute to like add maybe a little like gemstone to the end of these. Actually, I think I have one. Uh, these. I got these made for some bracelets I was making a while back. Um, they're just kind of dangly charms. So I am going to find another jump ring. Nice gold one out of my collection of jump rings here. String this through. These are, these thick ones are super heavy duty. I love them. And then at the end of my chain, I will attach it And now it has a cool little accent. This would obviously be super cool to add to just about um, any one of these projects, but yeah. Definitely just jazzes up the very simple design. Now to move on to our last one. I'm gonna take a slightly different angle here because this one is great if you have a dress with like a slit in it. Um, so 
this one is kind of like a garter design. So this will go all the way around your leg and then it's a little bit more like jewelry per se. So I am going to measure all the way around like uh, maybe like just above the widest part of my thigh where it starts to kind of taper in a little bit more so it stays and add a lobster clasp to the end per usual. This is like the worst angle I've ever filmed at in my entire life. Anyway, I added my lobster clasp as you can see. So we're gonna stretch it around the leg and flip it. Pretty close to the top. So from here, I'm going to take another length of chain and I am going to, now this might base entirely off of where your slits are. Um, usually, usually mine are on the sides of my dresses and the dress I'm thinking of specifically also, yes. This is actually probably one of the only times it's great to be wearing flat pants because even though I'm at a weird angle now because of my darling son, I can still measure out to just about the knee. That's why I would like this to stop. I come in, open up my chain link, and then I'm going to attach it just slightly forward and to the side in the same way that I attached all the links to the bra. I'm also going to add a little gem to the bottom, but before I go too far, because this is my remaining chain, which is a lot less than I had to start with for sure, but I would like to kind of add some extra dangly details so I'm going to measure out two of those to go on either side as well. So I'm just gonna open this up here, go one link away from where I have the dangly bit, just so it's even on both sides. So there's one dangly bit and the other one. This is of course real time, so you can see when you get real good at it, you know, you can be a master at getting stuff done real fast. Close that up, and now I want it, if you really want to measure it super nicely, I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, I think looks good. That way they kind of dangle the same amount. I also just measure them against each other to get the same amount of chains, because I feel like counting chains all day would be super boring. And then you have that look, and I'm going to do the same on this side. So I'm pretty stuck between going for this like soft pink, which is a little bit more my vibe, and this iridescent one. The iridescent one obviously looks more cool, and I, I feel like pink matches more of what I wear, but this matches everything I wear and looks cool. So I think I'm going to have to go for that one. Um, and these have wide enough loops that the chain links actually fit through them, so I'm going to use one of the extra links that kind of popped off earlier and just reattach it to this angle, the chain like this, and close her up, to create, look, oh my gosh, it looks like this. <laughs> I'm changing the design. All right, and there we have the garter design. <laughs> it is a lot less, um, less phallic, let's say. Now, in terms of styling, obviously, I would want this over something that's re relatively plain as it is. I'm gonna kind of tighten it around the underbust. And another, I guess, tip might be that you can always go in at the neck and then add another lobster clasp at the top. Um, and this is kind of what that looks like. This isn't really like something I would love to wear, but sometimes you need like random costume pieces for things. And I found myself wearing chain anything way more frequently than I've ever been willing to admit in the last like year. Um, you know, I went to go see the Rocky Horror Picture Show and um, I went to like a 90s themed party at one point. That's why I had the chain belt in the first place. Close and personal, it does. This may be a little too personal for my channel, but it does kind of fit um, in the way that I would have expected it to. Um, I don't know, it, I think it's a definitely an edgier look. It's again, maybe not my everyday look. I'm definitely more of like a soft academia kind of person. There's a lot more skin than I usually show, but overall I think it looks pretty good. Totally took me a hot minute to find a dress with a slit in it that was ready to go. 
Um, also, this is, again, taking a lot of gall for me to put my thigh out on the internet like this. So again, no mean comments. I will absolutely not be responding to them. All right, and here is this baby, dangly and ready to go. And it's just kind of a peak. Arguably, it should be a little bit lower for this guy. Um, so I might drag her down a bit. It's kind of a cool extra look. A little extra jewelry, a little fun, a little flavor. That is actually all from me. Um, and I believe, ah, here it is. This is all that is left of my chain. And it goes about the length of my arm. And they say that your wingspan is about as long as you are. So let's say about mm, three-ish feet. Three feet left of chain. That's not too bad. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun uh, cleaning out some of my last little bits of chain with me. I'm glad I still have this just in case I happen to need chain going forward. I still have a, a decent chunk left. Um, I don't use chain for a whole lot, um, <laughs> but I am, again, very glad that I have it. So, uh, yeah. I feel like I didn't really lose any chain today, but I did, um, I don't know, make the most of the money that I spent on it, I guess. So we love using up scraps. <laughs> um, with all that said, I wanted to thank you so, so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe. I put out new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern Standard Time, and I would love for you to be here for the next one. Thanks again so, so much, and I hope to see you then. Bye.